I think is, is, is relatively um, common sense. I think there's, the population of Northwest is zero. There's no humans out there. Yeah. And you're going to repropagate in an overcrowded block. This, this state is, we choke. Look at this room. We can't even fill the room. You know, we have spare chairs for some common, you know, discuss commonalities. It is too much, too far to, to try and really sit to these, these species back. Look at the mainland, cougars, wolves. It's so far, the sprawl is so far into the wilderness, they're not taking the wolves and cougars, they're taking them way out farther than they should be, bears. That's the same thing you're doing with this. And I'm looking at the spirituality of this. You're looking at the spirituality of the fight. It's because the door you guys were open with these all uh, uh, close. That's what they're concerned about. The door is shut. Do not open it. Paul, the head of the our families. Okay, already. You guys will bring them back. All a new generation will be popular. And I think that's what's hard. Seals are going to be talking about sharks. But we're talking about both. Right? So we hard to get back on focus only because you have to remember that all the fishermen that were fishing up there, they got paid to move out. And that, that's a big thing up there. They got paid to move out. When they moved out, everything, other habit happened. Okay? So the balance wasn't there. That's why the sharks started moving in. So there's, there's a lot of history within this that needs to be told. Um, because I see this focusing more on the mano than the seal. And, and I came here to visit I understand all of the history because everybody here is not Hawaiian. Um, but we need to get back on track to the purpose of why we're here. I'm not going to ask for a little and the Alakio representative on the Act 200 for the time of the uh, I just came back one month of strange legislative bills in the House and the Senate. And we've been having a hard time trying to educate our legislators. I think tonight what I'm here for is to understand uh, the... I, I'm not going to point fingers to Noah, but at the present time I cannot congratulate Noah for the big mess up with the state for dumping all that junk outside the recent briefs at the latest meeting we had in Kihei. They destroyed all the reefs and walked away with not saying a darn word under the governors in the lingo and our teachings and nutrition. So Kihei came on forward. What I mean, sister, is not to look or listen to your. I admire the Hawaiiana. We fought hard to bring Hawaiiana and language to University of Kumanaleo. I, I admire the history of Naumakua. I have been to the Northwestern Hawaiian Islands. We have been part of the Kukuna, but I'm so glad I see you as part of the Magnuson Act that I'm in charge to help all the monitors, the young men and women, so we're trying to find out what is your purpose here. Is your purpose here to talk about the nonsense? No. Or is your purpose is to come here to prophesy all oh, literature prior to the conquest of Kamehameha in our own lives? They go further back before the conquest of Pahal, before the time of the old Moku system that every island had control of. You come here to talk about one size shoes or socks to wear in our own language. Forgive me, I congratulate for the top three degree in the little Hawaii that you folks are for. I'm proud, however, I feel very strained here to listen about the issue of what, what has this monks you got to do. And what are the issues? Three weeks ago, I just sat with the Hawaiian Civic Clubs, sitting down with key provinces, 
who is not Buna Hiki, after the death of Benamina, who died, who was part of our legislator representative, with Keith Robinson, whose brother with the 25 border trustees of the Robinson Crusoe family, who controls the island of Nino, and made so many deals with the military. Of Eno. But the bottom line is, please bear with me, this is important for education for all of us tonight. With Keith Robinson made an agreement with somebody at the higher levels of federal Uka Uka top story. Because Keith Robinson is <coughs> part of his interest is with the Lao Lapao Endangered Species Garden on Kauai. He comes in. And he tells me he has already implemented a bill and permitting process in front of me, being the Ahakioi representative by law, to begin to spawn seals on the island of Kaolave. <clears throat> now, wait a minute. And I said, What did you say? No, we're going to start the spawning of seagulls on the island of Kauai. Who gave you that permission? Did the Kauai Island Reserve give you that permission? No. Did the county of Maui give you that permission? No. Did the Protect Kauai Ohana give you that permission to see some permission? No. Did the DRNR give you that permission? <coughs> he coughed. He coughed, a loud cough. <coughs> Did OHA give you that permission? No. So, those of you with OHA background, we're up front now, young man and woman. We're up front to see the reason why I'm here. I'm here to find out who gave, beside you, sister. Was you the one that gave the signature? Well, wait, wait, wait. Okay. You and more. With all these bars here, from Mokumanamana, and up, reverse, to Nihau, and up, Nagika, Kawaii, and up, reverse, yes, to Makaha. Anau kaika, namano o kuloro ika. Do you know where kuloro ika is? You folks are all Hawaiian language. Do you folks know where kuloro ika is? Oh yeah. Where? Look at that. Where? Look at that. In Manoa. Kuloro ika. Mahalo ni lo. The sea of kuloro ika. Yeah, is the original name of Honolulu Harbor. Do you know what was that Kuro here? What? Fish ponds. The fish ponds of Kuro And what else? In Ko, like where the old days from Honolulu, Ko. Right? Because it's not Ko. I only think no Ko. Ko was the chiefest. Malama, Mamala was the chiefest. Kuro Loia was Kekai o Kuro Loia. Prior to Pa'au's time. Prior to Pa'au's time, and let me tell you this, I'm here to know about the seal. What has legislating or permit processing is going on without our MOCO systems, our people, of 43 MOCOs in our thing. What are we going through this seal when we're talking about the Mano? I am against you talking about the Mano. I am against you talking about things that we set on the side. We do not, our families do not even give the name of our mano or the character or the place or the story of our mano or Kaolabe or from Maui. I, am, I despise you guys for doing that. I despise when you first talk about the mano that we're struggling to keep the secrets of our moko, our secret places, our birthday of the Manoa. 
So why I come here to talk about number one? When I'm here to talk about the seal, and how and how there is give me an answer tonight. How come the study on seal birthing place, according to Keith Robinson, who will not prove that by Noah? I heard it was Noah. Mahalo Trisha. Um I want to address I think a very important um, element. It's fundamental and I think you know this will help all of us kind of put things into context. When you talk about Manoa, you talk about the seal, you talk about any part of our island or Moana. Um, it's very important that we never ever let go, never forget one of the most important part of ourselves, and that's our humility. And what I'm referring to is that in the ocean, whether you mono, whether you sink, um, um, monk seal, whether you want fish, that environment belongs to the people of the sea. Now you be okay, Kai. Our ancestors of the sea. Now we humans, we live on land. And so on land is where we're compatible with. The fish cannot come out of the land and, and, and dominate or manipulate you know the people of the land in the same respect we of the land it's physically impossible to go to the realm of the sea and be dominant or superior and so when we're addressing concerns and issues of the sea be it mono or the seals we need to understand if a human being goes into the ocean and decides to take it on with a shark, who do you think will win? I mean, that's, that's basic, and I, I don't mean to be rhetorical um, you know, about it, but my, my point, Trish, is that I understand the work that you guys are doing and the intent and the purpose. I commend you. Yet, there is a very important aspect of what Uncle Les is talking about. And I'm sure you will get to the bottom of any potential misunderstandings. But what he's saying is very important. What he's talking about is about fundamental principles that allow us human beings to reach the point that we're at today. Without those fundamental principles, we would have all been extinct many, many years ago. And I truly believe that. And so, in today's society, we have technology. You know, we're, we're moving, we moved out of the industrial age into the data age, and now we're going into the ethernet age, okay? We cannot lose sight, or we cannot let go of that fundamental humanity within us. So when we address and we have conversations about the people of the sea, we need to understand and never forget that that's their realm. That's their, they are, they're the top dogs, not the human beings. And so we need to just rein in our arrogance. And now, you're, you know, we want to save the, the, the monk seals. We want to address, you know, the issues of, of whatever, you know, concerns we have with the sharks, with Mano. But everything that we're talking about was all created by human beings. So in the process of finding the remedy, let's not create more problems because it starts with the human beings. That's why there's all these problems, period. And so, you know, I don't want to, I don't want us to just get distracted in the conversation. And, and, and he's right, you know, there's an ancient protocol, there's an ancient principle that we need to adhere to, and that is, you know, one moku, do not go to another moku, and mahavoy. We need that protocol, we need that respect, and we can keep it when we have that humility. And that's all I want to say. I all my name is Kamoko Kabu, I live in Lahaina. I've been reviewing this, and this is a whole bunch of paperwork based upon this little topic. It's funny, it doesn't surprise me that the scoping summary report was done in Alaska. Yeah? But a lot of information that came out of um, the 
that scoping period because of the programmatic environmental impact statement when they were going around and asking people for Manao. A lot of my Manao is in idea and the information that is provided in this outweighs the good intentions pertaining to bringing this Hulu to the Hawaiian Islands. Okay, it outweighs it heavily. One major concern I get inside here is the vaccination process. We all understand ecropsies, yeah, when whales hit the beach and seals and dolphins and all those kinds of things. What's the process? They look for a disease, they find a disease, and they kill it. Okay? That's one of my major concerns and whether or not these seals will come over here may come across some kind of disease. I also wrote to this, based upon my concerns of Parvo. This island is clustered with Parvo disease. And whether or not that would trigger an adverse effect on these seals. I look for legitimacies when I come to these kinds of things. I don't like coming to these kinds of meetings and making noise for nothing. But I think we need to consider a lot pertaining to the issue at hand on how we need to allow nature to take its course. Right now, the balance is totally off. Why? Because we get the fishermen, we get the Hawaiians, we get the Kupuna, we get the majority of the population. Yeah? We may as well consider ourselves minorities to this issue. Because the majority, as I'm reading, don't want it. And there's a whole bunch of reasons why they don't want it. My reasons is basically to check and double check the scientific perspective on whether or not they have legitimacies to bring these so-called things here, which they don't. Somebody needs to be held accountable for this. I don't know what Office of Hawaiian Affairs um, Juliana is within here, but I also serve a couple positions. I'm the chair of the Native Hawaiian Historic Preservation Council and advisor to the Board of Trustees Office of Hawaiian Affairs. I have asked for this topic to be placed on our agenda. I know that it's still in the scoping period. I was hoping that PEIS gets on our agenda before it goes to the 45 day window period, where it only allows us 30 days to voice our opinion and voice our concerns and recommendations in 15 days goes to the agency for final approval on what or not this is going to go. You have a lot of people that is premature or don't understand what is going on. In my community, I walk around the neighborhood and I ask them, you guys know about the Mount Seal Recovery Plan? Everybody don't have the slightest clue. In spite of the information that was provided on how many public notices that went out in the, into the newspaper to inform the general public of this coming of this project, four times in the newspaper in a consecutive of two months. Nobody reads the newspaper anymore. Everybody's too busy on the eye touch, on the laptop. They're too busy doing this kind of thing. My father don't even like read the newspaper because it's filled with animosity. So one of the key issues I hope to see that comes out of this is more transparency. To get this information out there to every community member, no matter what it takes. If you guys get fourteen billion dollars for green seals over there, over here, you can spend two million dollars like how Oa did, yeah, for training the how you know our boat to get the information out there to inform our people that we have some serious problems that we need to come together, we need to meet, we need to create some kind of process of whole bono bono before this thing gets out of control. But when I talk about the liabilities, who's going to take responsibility of this? I'm going to be the first one. If something goes wrong with this, the following class action suit. I am going to be on. Okay? Because this thing is going to rise to a level that none of us will be able to control. None of us.
But now if we go down to the central plains and we drive all the water um, into Bahaina, the natives will talk to you because they want to go home. They went back to their environment, which is where they belong. So, by us taking these seals and if they will tell you that's where you want it to go, then maybe there's time for dialogue and conversation. But I never hear what the seals want. I only hear what the scientific data has told you you need to do for them. We constantly address symptoms. We never address the actual problem. This is just what Band-Aid stick somebody with some painkillers for now. That's the way I see it. And that's just my opinion. And it's not that you're not trying to be doing something. You need to be doing something. And I hear from everybody else around on land, and I never hear what the seal. I don't see a huge migration of seal moving off over there, coming over here. I don't see a huge migration. Um, they never show you where you like going. You picking it for them. And so, and, and all this Amapua talk here. Not everyone is for us. Not everyone is for us. We have one. So when we sit in the room and we cry, that's my Amapua. We gotta make sure that he's our Amapua. <coughs> and we write, we don't talk about it. We don't tell you who they are. Because it's not for you guys to know. And it's not that we're trying to insult you or think that we're superior. It's something that's endearing to us. Yeah, it's endearing to us. And um, I never hear a I never hear a seal stop. Is he here for breaking bread? Gonna answer for the seal? There are people what you what you refer to as critters. Yeah. It's just as equivalent, if not superior to us. Um, we depend on their well-being so we can all survive. Mm -hmm. And um, it always seems that wherever there's an impact, they're the problem. They become the problem. They're the problem right now. And the problem is, is pointed towards them. Instead, why don't we look inward to how this problem came about and solve the problem? Then, like, I think that's a natural who said, when nature takes its course, because you know, they, they know. That's why they come to Ke'anai. That's why they went to Molokai. They needed to go someplace for now, but no need they would stay there, because they came from some place. Yeah. So now we got to find out why they came here if we never see them all our life time. When my mother never see it, my grandma never see it, they might be for that shop. But why did they come and back it up so we can solve the problem, not address the symptom? That's all that's all I'm saying. But what you say as far as critters is actually superior to us we are critters. We're the creepy crawlers that 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 do these impacts on you. Thanks for coming because I've, I've been one of those activists in the early 70s that's trying to figure out where our culture of man take place to be educated in our schools. Hawaiian language, culture, uh, ancient history, Palestine, uh, genealogies, all my poor. Yeah, I'm a fisherman. I come from a fisherman. Our brother, the fisherman. As, as we get older, what I'm asking is that I'm not against what you guys are doing. I encourage my Hawaiian koko, my Hawaiian koko, becoming doctorates. Because in our days, we never get doctorates. We have to be Hawaiian activists to fight the scientists. Like Pikio and Makeda, Prince Hotel. When they built the hotel on top of the Hawaiian trail, Rich Carlton, I was the one that trained them, the Ivy, Uncle S, the Manata, according to the MOA. But I'm here so that we can educate our community, visitors alike, because it's our home. But we've got to look together at how we can see the imbalances 
Yeah. Hey, from Egypt, everybody going AOI. <laughs> hey, man, everybody running away. They finally put the best spot in the Pacific. We know what Hawaii is. We don't need to go around, but the bottom line is, I thank you guys for doing this. It's not against you, sister. I'm proud of this. Now I see my Coco Kiki, my young Makua, coming up and being part of the process. The bottom line is, it's not discriminatory. What we need to do now is educate ourselves. And bottom line about it all is, I think, there's so much information out there that Hawaiian language cannot capture it all. There's so much information out there that our Hawaiian history has been fragmented and cut short to a Western perspective and definition. There's so much history out there that we're learning from our family that, wow, I didn't know. I didn't know that there's 178 currents from Maui going to Kapalo going to Kaholawe. I didn't know that we had what you call the Saragasso Seas, four in the whole world. You know what is the Saragasso Seas, sister? I have no idea what the Saragasso Seas is. There you go. So when you talk about the seals, I mean, okay, he knows. when you first talk about the seals, currents, or drainages of the world, you know what it is? It's the whirlpool. And Okupuna had that knowledge. Four whirlpools, the Saragossos, in the Mediterranean, the Pacific, the Atlantic, gone, watch the turning fastness of those in the Saragosso, and watch those that move slow. Did you know that the Saragosso has a lot to do with all the currents? Do you know the currents of Hawaii? Uh, that's what I'm seeing. Yeah. That's what I'm seeing. There's so much of Kupuna knew as navigators. As voyagers before Columbus. It's, it's a record. We know that. And so, but we didn't know how to write our history after 59, 1959. I'm one of them. They got beat off to be on veteran, come on, and I gotta learn my culture all over. But I'm a fisherman for that. But I want to tell you guys, finally. Continue the process, but don't forget, call consultation. Consultation is the best process that they can be at peace. Yeah. Hey, my children, I get Howley mixed up. I get Japanese, Filipino, Bakke. So I'm not here to talk about only Hawaiian. I'm talking about my children carry the blood of the body too. So we you know, I just think she's to do it, but be ready to be critique. Well, well, I, well, 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 I came ready, so. I just want to call to this about uh, congratulation, uh, congratulating you guys. Um, and moving forward, but you got to walk out. You can't just go on. You got to go look left and right. Yeah. And, um, and I, I don't like to review this, um, but I'm probably the longest environmental and fostered individual on this island. The other one 17 years, 32 years total with coastal zone management and SMA. I'm the guy that issues the fines. So I see this island change. Yeah, I'm a harvest out. I see, I saw a whole change take place. Now, we have a critical tipping point. That's what I'm concerned about. Yeah. And the tipping point has to be addressed and not add more pressure on that tipping point. And by bringing these um, species in, you will create that, that, that fall tipping point in which we may not be able to recover. And uh, that, that's all I'm concerned about. And you know, one thing I would say about the Tita from Kiana, I'm from Kiana, I, my question is, when was the last time plenty of Akuni came? One time. I remember when Akuna did, one time used to come in. When was the last time that one time of Akuni? Ten years. Yeah, that's about yeah, when they started coming. But we get enough for our Yeah. You know what I mean? well, but you know, Honolulu uh, used to get one ton coming in there. Outside there, all the two well. Tons. I never see that happening over a decade. Well, you know, like, had some, I mean, all different right. things affected. Yeah. You know, not just one thing. Yeah. And, I mean, we have to think 
these are not gonna say, but they had some people coming down from the window, shocking the water, doing all that kind of stuff, you know. So it's not just one thing, but no, 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 don't answer. I was just to my Yeah, it's hard, and that's why she says it's the hardest. why Noah is getting involved in this situation. As was being mentioned earlier, I think there's a sensitivity to the monk seals, but that doesn't mean that what's happening now didn't happen before. If all of a sudden you're sensitive to something and now you're starting to take pains to find out what's going on, does that mean it's changed just because of that? Okay, wait, I'm not finished yet. And the other thing was, as you can see, that in this whole world, not too many people are in favor of this idea, for whatever reasons. So I'd like to know, what prompted Noah to support action like this? And I mean, I'm looking at the plan that you folks came with that was announced. And I'm seeing this plan, somewhat of a plan, already made. We were not included in the decision process. And this information is being brought forward. Tonight I came to find out what was going on. I'm totally confused from the beginning. But now that I figured out that what you want to do is to try to save the monk seals by moving them away from the home, their home, sounds so much like the reservation ideas. And you have to go back to that governing factor. Who is in control of these organizations? They're making decisions based on their information that they think is right. And in the long run, what happens? The reservation makes it a good idea. Okay, so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to thank you folks. I want to also remind you where you guys come from. You sit and consult with them. There's this uh, Trojan horse in uh, the room. It's called mm -hmm. Divided Conquer. When, when some of us talk, I see your, your honor just mm -hmm. enraged. And I don't know where they come from. Um, if we're going to have more conversation, we should. Yeah. And I'm willing to sit and talk to you. Because you cannot only sit in one room with only them. And then be made to present it to us. They got something to say, they come talk to us. Yeah. If you have something to tell us, you come tell us. Don't send the tokens. Yeah, they now they we all gotta yell at her. Yeah. But she doesn't deserve that. She's trying to love her father for what he's respected and, and wanting to how he wants to live. And so and so now she has this battle with her. You're creating that. And I don't appreciate that. Because I think we need to talk to her. We really do. I so how are you folks, yeah? Because you guys get that passion, yeah? And you guys and you guys get all yeah. that, that you guys get get what what we also want. We all work for the same the same side. We all working for the same the same reason, yeah? Except they were rich. Yeah, and so now they want trust factor that sometimes gets in the way. And we shouldn't have to I don't know if you're not going to trust. You. Yeah. And so, and you don't know enough of me that that when I say something, then you gotta be mad at me. Yeah, I don't think we all know each other that well yet. I'm a foster enough that he would let me speak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I just make you right of that because I want to have a conversation with all Okay, you. Andy, you're right. <laughs>
The meeting needs to be during the daytime, then make it all day, not in the evening, only a couple hours when everybody can work. And I know, you know, like you say, yeah, but you said other people work too, right? So I mean, I'll come, but you gotta tell me. No, no, no. Yeah. But, but my suggestion is this: Jehovah yeah, is hold a meeting on every island with each local. Invite the 25 scientists. Invite the 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 the, the family from all the different other parts of the local. We have that meeting. That way, we can talk to each other. They can actually hear it from us. And it doesn't have to go through you, you know, vice versa. And then, you know, you, your brain's going to explode. You get all this. You, know, you, you get it all scrapped left and right. But my point, my point is being, is that, and I agree with everybody, I commend you for what you're doing. Don't stop. Okay? And we wouldn't be who we are if we never stand you up and call you up. Or, you know, or, and, and we saw you feel it come up too, because you would, you know, you're like, oh, oh. But that's not but all, all that is good. But what I'm saying See, is just so you guys know, I'm not just because I'm ready, you know, right. ready to talk about it. <laughs> but that's how we like it. But, you know, and, and this is to what this um, 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 Malini said, which is really important, is that she wants to understand more about the culture and the people. What we have to do her is to come into a meeting with the Angokos. And then you can you can lay everything out, the 25 scientists from Noah or however much can come and lay your sign out, and then we can express ourselves. So you will actually have the experience and not just the word of mouth. I will say this. Um. Sponsor, hukka, hukka. make it a little pot pie where everybody can come and be comfortable at home. Doesn't have to be formal. But you know, you, you, you take one whole community and then you have a fine and then everybody can sit down, relax, eat, and then we can talk, and then you can, you know, that's what we need. That's the dialogue that we need. Because like this, it's going to be a confrontation. You know, by nature, and that's inherent. I mean, uh, I'm going to let Richard go because he's not his hand up, and then I'll be angry. Go ahead. Uh, my name is Richard. So, <clears throat> I live on the Kauai. I don't know why I drove all the way down here today. Uh, I'm a member of the public. And, uh, I received a uh, fantastic blessing while I was in this room. And I want to share it with you because I think it's really germane to what everybody's talking about. I was sitting in front of Uncle Les when he, gives, when he spoke. I don't know if you noticed, but he had me by the neck. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping he knew you. I didn't see that. No. And I'm still hoarse from you. <laughs> but what, what happened is that I could feel his energy as he spoke. And I could sense from the different things he said, I think, and I hope I'm understanding the message is right. I think he was telling all of us that this is a bigger issue than mud seals and sharks. That there are fundamental things that we need to recognize and think about and talk about before we even get to that level. And when I felt it the most when he was talking about Kapuna, Mahamoku, and I think that I could feel that it's really necessary for all of us But we, ought to, we need to all understand that as a stepping stone to anything we do that has to do with YNA, whether it has to do with the Aina, the ocean, um, the things that live on the island and the ocean. And it seemed to me kind of like that's missing from maybe this project at this point. And I'm not being critical, that's just my observation. I know there are people in the room that have spoke a lot better about this than I can. But unless we get back to basics of being vulnerable, I think that, you know, I can see why people are nervous that man who has driven this wrecking machine all over the world is now saying, let us try again. We've got a better idea now. We're going to step in and take a wrecking machine and try to make something work. We're all nervous about that. But when you have the energy that Uncle Les has about these topics, I think
think it's really a mistake for us not to thrive upon that and understand that that's the basic thing that needs to happen before we talk about it. Yeah, I, 
But what I'm saying, and I guess I should be addressing this to no one. You know what? This whole thing needs to stop right now, and this needs to be fixed before we take one more step further. Because if this is going through, then you know what? It's just like you're having a bike back. Talk, talk, talk to the people. We already made the decision. Or we already got the, you know, things and we, going through. We don't like being uh, and we don't like being played like that. We we come right out now. Now that we see all of this, we think they're all together. So that's why we're here. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's it's a good thing that everybody hears it. Everybody gets it out. Everybody understands it. We're not after one person. We're after the answer. Yeah. Uh, who do we talk to? Where do we go? Why is it happening? Because we came across this. If we're at the wrong meeting. Come on, my help. You know. Sorry about that. But anything about sales, we're on top of it because we're always and, last. And that's why when you talk about the mano, that kind of like, wait a minute. We came here to address this. Yeah. And then that's the future. Yeah. 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 Right. Just oh. the final, final. The African is not the white man. The African. And you know, a lot of people don't want to hear this. 
Why are they doing it for a while? Because the sovereign issue is so close. America is saying, you want to take it, we're going to burn it. You guys are not going to have anything. They, they, they develop a terminator seed already. And that's what's happening in Mount Salsa. That terminator seed is propagated on islands. It will kill everything. Grass, mining, pohole, coconuts, bananas, everything. Everything will die. And I asked this operator, CIA now. I'm an ex-law enforcement officer. Well, what, what about the houses in Waiya? Kalapale, Tapolo. They're expendable. They're expendable. Go on the computer tonight. This is all secondary level. We gotta come together and say, stop this stuff. It's all over. We all have it. It's all in our lungs right now. Farm wars. What the heck? Uh, what in the world are they spraying you to? And harp. Harp. Hi. Uh, it's um. It's high frequency aluminum research project. When Al Gore was vice president, the biggest thing he wanted before he exited was global warming. The technology is in place right now. It's actually working. Two foot of snow doing super cold in Texas? Give me a break. Something's going on. They're dying in Hawaii and a pineapple express, which they cannot control, goes all the way to the mainland. They cannot control it yet, but they're dying it in. And they're using us as guinea pigs. And you know what the sick thing we just found out this week? Aloha Airlines is a converted jet that spraying this stuff on us. They're spraying this on us. Phosphines, copper, tin, aluminum, nanofibers. It'll stop breaking out pretty soon. I'm in the middle of this, in this analysis so we can bring it forth. But you're right. How does one bring this forward? We can't even get this in the mocks here, let alone these wacko talking about nanofibers. Who's going to believe me? Who's going to believe them about the seals? This is serious. Getting the information out, vital information, and it's a health hazard to us all, which can cause a pandemic. Nobody, can, nobody knows how to do it. Nobody knows. Look at our couple. The only thing we can do is go on a couple and try to get a five minute segment and then repeat it. And is this YouTube? Could be. Put it on YouTube. With your permission. Put it on YouTube. People gotta know. When we fight not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers of darkness in high places. Thank you.